Hi, my name's Holly Grant and I'm the owner of Pilates PT and I'm going to take you through my version of the WASP workout today inspired by the film's star, Evangeline Lilly. So if you guys want to start in the middle of your mat, so just make your way back just a little bit. We're going to start with a bit of a warm up, feet hip distance apart. So arms up over your head into prayer, look up, reach up to the ceiling and then start to push your arms over to the left and push your hips to the right into a half moon position. Lovely, we've all gone in the right direction. So arms over to the left keep reaching especially through your top arm your right arm push those hips to the right hold it there keep reaching start to think about how your body looks from the side try and keep your ribs in nice and flat reach one little bit further and then come back through to the center reach up take your arms over to the right push your hips over to the left and pull that top arm over pull through that top arm your left arm Think about how you look from the side. Keep those ribs drawn in, keep your core active. Push a little bit further and then come back through to the center. Stay lifted, look up at your hands again. Now soften your knees and roll down slowly, a vertebrae at a time, bringing your hands down towards the ground. Let your head hang down nice and loose and hold it there. So relax your heads, guys. Let the head be nice and loose. Get rid of the crease in the back of your neck. Bend and straighten the legs a couple of times. Try and loosen off that lower back. Bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Give your head one last shake out and then slowly roll all the way back up, a vertebrae at a time, drawing in your abdominals until you get to the top. Now take your hands behind your back, palms facing in, fingers down. Lift the chest, look up and start to lean the body backwards into a very small back bend. Squeeze the elbows together, lift from the chest. Hold it there, allow the ribs to pop and breathe. If you feel pain, ease off slightly. Final three, look back even further, relax your jaw. Two, one, and slowly come back to standing. Into a little bit of a high knees for me now. So I want you just to start by jogging on the spot and start to take your knees up higher and higher. Lovely, lean backwards, you'll get those legs up even more. Put your hands out at hip height, just to double check those knees are going up as far as possible. Good, start to feel the heart rate lifting, start to feel a little bit warmer. When you land, your heels gently touch into the ground, so you're really starting to loosen off your ankles a little bit higher and a little bit faster. Final four. Good, three, a little bit higher again, final two. Come back to a jog and slowly come to a stop. So that is your warm up. Now into the main workout, we're gonna do each exercise for about 60 seconds. Starting with squats, so feet hip distance apart and parallel. We're gonna sit down, reach the arms forwards, and as you stand up, bring the arms back, squeeze the bum. Same again, squat down and reach, and press. Push through your heels. So I like to keep my toes lifted. Try not to allow the heels to lift. And as you go down, really think about your posture. Try not to stick out your tailbone or hunch over. Lovely, push through those heels. Squeeze the bum at the top, but don't overextend. Don't lean backwards and open the hips too much. Keep this going, reach and pull back. Lovely, standing up nice and tall at the top when you get there, final four. Squeeze your bums, two, lovely, do one more and walk towards the back of your mat away from your weights into lunges. Opposite arm, opposite leg reaches forward. So if you're stepping forwards with your right foot, left arm goes up, join me when you're ready. You step forwards with one leg, look up at the opposite arm. Now just make sure that you're bending both of your knees, lovely. So your back knee almost touches the floor. Look up at that hand as you reach. Good, keep that going. And press through your front foot to come back to standing each time. So you really activate your front glute. Lovely, take a longer step each time if you can. Push through that front foot. Really nice, let's do your final four. Press, three, keep your core active. Don't let your ribs pop. Last two. And last one, well done guys. Grab your weights for me. We're gonna come into some jabs. Stand in the middle of your mat facing me. Feet hip distance apart, soft knees, and the weights near your chest. We're gonna punch twice with the left hand and twice with the right hand. Two with the left, join in when you're ready. Two with the right. And punch and punch. The palm faces down as you punch. Now allow the hips to move just a little bit so you're not drawing too much tension through your lower back. And lovely, and punch, punch, good. 
almost like you're dancing. Nice and bouncy in those knees. Watch that your core is active. The weights are not pulling you over and putting pressure in your back. Good, and punch, and punch. Well done, almost there. Make sure you're breathing, and make sure you're pulling up through your pelvic floor. Almost there, let's do final four. Good, and three, nice and soft through the knees. Two, and one more, bicep curls. Soft knees, tailbone tucked under, palms forwards. We're gonna exhale as we curl at the elbow, and inhale as you slowly release. Lovely, keep an eye on those wrists, keep them nice and neutral. So don't let the weights pull on the wrist. Keep the wrist from knuckle to elbow completely flat. Knees are soft. And just watch that you're not starting to stick out your tailbone or pop the ribs. So keep the core nice and active. Really, really good. Collarbone nice and wide. Good. And pull. Remember to breathe. I like to exhale as I curl. Inhale, release. If you want to go slower, if these feel quite light to you, then by all means, do the slower you go, the heavier they're going to feel. Let's do four more. Breathing, final three, keep the tailbone tucked. Last two. Last one into lateral raises. Keep those knees soft, palms face in. We're gonna exhale to lift the arms up to shoulder height and slowly bring them back down. Exhaling as you lift, no higher than the shoulders and slowly releasing. Keeping the shoulders nice and low as you lift the arms. Exhale, lift and inhale, release. Now, as you do this one, just think about what you look like from the side. Again, make sure you're not popping out your ribs. Stay neutral through your spine. The slower you move the arms, the heavier these weights are gonna feel. And breathe. <sighs> Exhaling as you lift. <sighs> well done, guys. Pulling up through the crown of your head. Just watch as you lift your arms, you're not lifting your whole shoulder girdle. Keep the shoulders nice and low. Almost there. Final four. Pull up through the pelvic floor. Lovely. Let's do three. Shoulders should be starting to warm up a little bit. Two. And one more. And into shoulder press. So palms facing forwards, elbows nice and low. Keep your core active. And as you exhale, you press the arms overhead. And on the inhale, slowly bring them back down again. Exhale, lift the weights. Tap them together at the top. Slowly resist on the way down. Exhale, lift. And inhale to release. Lovely. On this one, you are more likely to lean backwards as you lift because you're a longer lever. So really activate your core. <sighs> Keep the ribs in, nice soft knees. Well done, guys, and smile, <laughs> and press. Good, lots of pelvic floor. The pelvic floor helps to switch on the abdominals. And again, I shouldn't be able to see anyone's ribs poking out too much. If they're poking out, we're leaning backwards. Good, let's do three more. <sighs> Almost there with the arms, last two. And your last one, slowly bring them back down. Now into triceps. I want you guys to lean forwards a little bit, soft knees, make sure you're not hunching over. We're gonna have the arms out and front palms face each other. Pull the elbows back, squeeze between the shoulder blades, and then gently release. Exhale to pull, and inhale to release. Use the breath to really help to keep the core active. And as you pull those elbows back, you squeeze between the shoulder blades. Well done, guys. Really think about what you look like from the side. No hunching over, but also we don't want the tailbone sticking out. So maybe tuck the tailbones under just an, enough. Eye line is at the end of your mat. Good. And try not to let the chins come to the chest. Almost there. Lovely. The last exercise for the arms in two more will be reverse flies. One more. Now we're going to stay in this position. This time keep your arms straight. We're going to exhale to open them up to crucifix. Slowly release back together. And again, exhale to open and gently release. Keep a slight softness at the elbow, but other than that, the arms are straight. And just check now that you're starting to get a little bit tired, that the tailbone is still tucked underneath. So if you feel like you're sticking out your bum, try and tuck under using those abdominals. Lovely. Every time you open out those arms, think about the shoulder blades drawing together behind you. Almost there, let's do three more of these. Lovely, last two. Your last one. And then finally, we can get rid of those weights. Hold on guys, just get rid of them. Pop them off your mat. We're coming down onto our backs now. So lie down on your back, knees are bent, feet flat down on the ground and get yourself nice and comfortable. Arms down by your side, palms facing the ground. As you exhale, I want you to slowly lift the head and shoulders up, reach towards your heels and on the inhale, slowly roll all the way 
back down again. Same again, as you exhale, curl up, reach the fingertips to the heels, and inhale, control the release back down and keep this going. Exhale, as you curl up, really think about those ribs coming down to meet the hip bones. Really nice. Try and keep your neck in alignment with your spine. So if you imagine you have a tennis ball under your chin that you're just about holding on to. So we're not squashing it, but we also don't lose it. Remember that when we crunch, we're really sliding the ribs towards the pelvis. So don't just nod the head. Now we're gonna do three more like this, then we're gonna speed it up a little bit. Two more. Now on the next one, we're gonna come up. We're gonna do two pulses whilst we're up there. So we pulse, pulse, come back down. Exhale, come up, pulse, pulse and come back down and keep this going you go up twice and down and we come twice up and down so it's a little bit faster and we reach reach release and reach reach release four more like this if you're feeling it in your neck take a little rest really focus the effort from the tummy at the end we're going to come up we're going to hold it here and keep pulsing for me sliding the ribs towards the hip bones three two last one hold and slowly come all the way back down again. Now, if you guys leave your arms here, push your lower back into your mat and bring your legs up into tabletop and then straighten them up to the ceiling. Now, make sure your lower back does not leave the mat. We're gonna lower the legs as low as we can keep that imprint position. Exhale, pull them back up. So again, inhale with straight legs. We let them fall away only as low as you can keep your back against the ground. Exhale, bring them back up. Lovely. Try and keep those legs nice and straight. If you've got tight hamstrings, you can do it with slightly bent knees. And if you feel this in your lower back, you have gone too low. This should be an abdominal exercise. We've got three more. And exhale to bring them back up. Lovely, guys. Last two. Try not to use your arms too much to cheat. On the last one, take your legs down and hold our little scissor kicks or flutter kicks with those legs without losing your imprint. No backs arching off the ground. Four, three legs a bit lower, two, one, and hug those knees in towards your chest. Well done. And a quick rock side to side. Now keep your legs in tabletop. Fingers to your temples for me. Now lift the head and shoulders up away from the mat. We get one leg out, one leg in, and we switch and switch. It's almost like we're cycling now opposite elbow, opposite knee. So we twist towards the leg that's coming in towards you. So keep those legs going and rotate, rotate. And this is your speed. You twist and twist and exhale and exhale. And if you start to feel it in your neck at all, you can always have your hands behind your head, but try not to pull your head up too much. Really nice, guys. Your abs should be slightly on fire. Final four, keep coming up a little bit higher. Three, two, one more. Hug your knees in, come down and rest. Now, I'd love to say that's your last ab exercise, but you've got one more. So when you're ready, I want you to come up onto your bums for some V-sits. Feet on the floor out in front of you, knees bent and arms reaching out. Now you're gonna round your spine and roll back a little bit so you're on the back of your sit bones. One leg up to tabletop and then the other. Now as you inhale, you're gonna straighten out your legs and lean back as far as you can keep your balance. Exhale, hinge at your hips and draw your body back in. Same again, inhale, slowly release back and exhale. <laughs> pull back in. Good, the lower you go with your body, the harder you're gonna work. So if you do want to come all the way to the floor, then you can, and exhale, pull back in. Hovering off the ground is gonna require a little bit more control, and keep this going. Final four, if you feel it in your lower back, take a rest. Final three, really nice guys. Think about the tennis ball under your chin, because this is still an ab exercise, last two. Now on the last one, we're gonna go out, we're gonna hold it there and hover for three, two, one, and lie down, hug your knees into your chest and relax. Take a quick rock from side to side, really hug your knees in, stretch out your lower back. Lovely, we are almost there. We're gonna flip over for some push-ups. Now you've got two options here, but don't force yourself to do the full plank version. So push-ups, you can either be in a half plank, so diagonal line from knees to shoulders, or we can be up in a full plank. Now we're gonna do the tricep push-up version. So as you bend the elbows, want the elbows tight to the side of the body and press. So half plank, we're down on our knees, join in when you're ready. We bend the elbows into the sides of the body and exhale to press. 
So those elbows should almost brush your rib cage. And at the top, if you start with the creases of the elbows pointing forwards, then you know that when you bend your elbows, they're tight into the sides of your body. So if you're in your full plank version and you're starting to flag or your hips are dipping too low, drop those knees. <sighs> Keep the collarbone nice and wide. It's never worth pushing through in full plank if you feel it in your back, not your tummy. Almost there, guys. Let's do final four. Nice and slow and controlled. <sighs> Three, two, and child's pose. Knees down, sit back on your heels, arms overhead, and just hold it there. Try and bring your body down through the ground and relax. So for your cool down, onto hands and knees, and we're into your cat-cow stretch. Spread the fingers nice and wide, middle finger points forwards, knees under your hips. Now, big breath in as you exhale, I want you to round your spine, tuck your chin, press into your knees and hold it here for me. The position you're looking for is so that you look like the letter N or you look like a bridge. Really tuck that tailbone under, scoop your belly button in and hold it here for three more big breaths. Press into those wrists, two, one, now go the other way. Lift up your bum, lift up your head, and pull the shoulder blades back and down and hold it here. So from the side now, we should look like the letter U, or our spine should look like the letter U. Make sure you're not flinging your head back. Keep it in line with your spine. One more big breath, and then go back into your flexion. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale to stay here. And now we're going to exhale into extension, so a bit more of a flow now. Lift the head, lift the tailbone, shoulders back. Inhale, stay. And then exhale into flexion. Now keep rocking between the two. Inhale to hold. Exhale to move into that extension. Tailbone up, shoulders back. One more each way for me. Loosening off your back. Last one, into extension, and then find halfway your neutral spine. Into a pigeon stretch, take your left knee and place it behind your left wrist, and just wriggle the left foot to the right-hand side of the mat. Now slowly walk your right knee back, bring your body down towards the floor. So our left knee is out in front of us. We've bent the knee, the foot is almost touching the other side of the mat, and you're bringing your body down. Now, if you want to reach the arms further out in front of you and hold it here, then please do. Bring your body down as close as you can. If you had a block, you could always pop that underneath your left hip and just breathe. Every time you exhale, imagine sinking closer to the floor, bringing your ribs closer to that left knee. And three. Two, now put your hands underneath your shoulders and use your hands to push yourself up and then swap those legs over. So I come back to four point kneeling first, right knee behind your right wrist and then let that right foot come to the left side of your mat. Walk your left knee back, bring your body down and then again start to walk your arms out in front of you and hold it there. So your right knee is out in front of you now. Draw the body down, reach those arms further forwards and every time you exhale, release a little bit lower. You may find that you're better on one side or looser on one side than the other. And breathe. Three, two, and then onto your hands again and push yourself back to kneeling. Take your knees as wide as the mat, bring your toes together and sit back into one final child's pose. Push yourself back first and then walk your hands forwards and push your ribs out towards the floor. Relax as much as you can. Press the arms away so you push your bum back further. Three, two, and then slowly from the base of your spine, roll all the way back up to kneeling. Good, in your own time, come up to standing. We'll finish with one final roll down as we did at the beginning. Feet hip distance apart and parallel. Arms up over your head into prayer. Look up, reach up. And we're going to soften our knees and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Drawing your arms down towards the ground as low as you can go. Now let those arms just hang here. Relax the back of your neck. There should be no crease in the skin at the back of your head. Here I want you to nod your head yes, shake it no. Roll your shoulders, shake out your wrists, and then very slowly start to roll back up using your glutes, core engaged, a vertebrae at a time. When you get to the top, roll your shoulders, shake out your head, and that's you guys done. I hope you enjoy the WASP workout and you can continue it at home.